Okay, we're going to look at question six of the November 21 uh, paper one exam. And here we go. It's all about a log function, a log function here. The first question says, here you're given, um, this is f of x equals the log of x to base four. And it's drawn below. Here you go. They give you a point, k and two. So when x is k, the y value is two. Well, calculate k. Well, all we do is substitute. The y value is 2. That means f of x is 2. And the x value is k, so we put a k there. Now, if you know how a log um, equation works, that's the base. And the log itself, 2, is an exponent. So 4 squared equals this k here. So k is 4 times 4, 16. First question is pretty easy. Now they say, determine the values of x which will create y values between 2 and minus 1. Well, what you have to do is try and figure out the x value that's going to make a y value of minus 1. Well, that's 4 to the minus 1. 4 to the minus 1 equals x. And 4 to the minus 1 is a quarter. So the x value that's going to create minus 1 is a quarter. And the x value that creates 2 we did in the first part is 16. So what are the values that are in between minus 1 and 2? Well, they're the values in between, the x values in between 16 and a quarter. And that's how it works. Let's look at the next question. They say, write down the f to the minus 1, the inverse of f, in the form y equals. Well, you always do it the same way. You write the function, instead of fx, put y equals then switch x and y. There's your first step. Now this is log form. You need to put it in exponential form. Well, there's the base, 4. The log being x is the exponent. x goes up here, and that equals y. There's the inverse function in the form y equals. And the last question's a little bit tricky, so you got to listen pretty close. Now that I've got this in, I actually sketched in the inverse function. I'd have trouble coming up with this answer if I didn't. I know that if I put in a 0, 4 to the 0 is 1. 4 to the 1 would be 4, 1 and 4 up there. Maybe minus 1 and a quarter. It's, there's the shape of it. It's the inverse of this thing. So it's a reflection about y equals x there. Now, where, for which values of x, where there's your x value, will multiply by the y value up here, the f of x value, to give you a negative number. Well, let's check count here. Say at minus 1. Minus 1 times the y value, which is a quarter, that's minus a quarter. Hey, that's less than 0. So it works. In fact, it works anywhere, all the way as far as you want to go down and right up, but it stops working right there at 0 because... I've got a zero value, and a zero times zero is zero. It's not less than zero. What happens on the other side? I've got a positive x value. I've got a positive um, f of x value. When I multiply those two things together, it won't be less than zero. So the answer must be less. x is less than zero on this side. And that explains how they got the answer here. x is less than zero. Well, I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Okay.